Way there is a lot of damage to tell you about, but thankfully nobody was hurt. News Aid's Neka Nuosu live in our Hartford newsroom tonight with a look at how this storm brought down a sports complex. Neka. That's right. It happened at the Sports World Complex in East Windsor. The owner tells me that the dome was meant to withstand up to 75 mile per hour winds, but we haven't received confirmation on exactly how strong the winds were today or if it was in fact a tornado that touched down. But we can tell you that the winds were strong enough to cause a lot of damage. And we're going to show you video of that damage from just a short time ago. The owner and the manager of the Sports World Complex tell me that at the time that this happened, just before 2 o'clock, there were 30 campers inside the dome, ages 5 to 12, along with their counselors. Then the director of the camp received an alert on her phone. She also noticed the dome starting to shake, so she quickly moved everyone inside. Oh, and they heard the urgency in my voice, which I don't usually have, and we got them in under the tables, and within a few seconds, the dome went. And the winds ripped through, lifting part of the dome onto a nearby highway. And though there is a lot of damage, as you can see there, they are planning to rebuild. And luckily, no one was injured in all of this. And they do tell us that they are planning to hold camp there at Sports World tomorrow. We will have much more on this story tonight at 10 and 11. For now, live in the Hartford Newsroom, Neka Nuosu, News 8. Neka, thank you. The strong wind sent debris from that sports complex right onto a nearby highway. Janet sent in this picture using our reported feature of a big rig that got tangled up in pieces of that dome on I-91 in Windsor. She tells us she and her husband helped rip away that debris to get to the truck driver. He was shaken up, but thankfully was not injured. This picture was sent in by Anthony in Enfield. You can see the tree branches down in his yard. He says he went to move his car away from the trees and ended up getting stuck inside of it during a very intense two-minute period of extremely strong winds.